not supposed to be in here. You're not supposed to be living. Let's fix that. No, I'm being attacked! The guards are all dead, kid. Never should have come here. Jeez, this little this eight-year-old girl's trying to rock me. Did you see that? She was gonna shank me. Mothal, I tell you, this place is a freaking basket case. That's your secret though, you don't want to know people. You know what, I never considered that. That's that's a good point. And they don't want people to know you. That's even worse. The more you know them, the more disappointed you are when they do something dumb. Uh, that one I disagree with. I don't have expectations of anyone, no matter how well I know them. That's my secret cap. I'm never disappointed. Or I'm always disappointed. Okay, they clearly have a fire going. Why are they eating rabbit legs raw? I'm telling you, these people are hicks. Scar and peasants are just the people from the hills have eyes. Yeah, they can't hurt Uncle Rogvia, that's my job. There we go. Why are you guys mad? I did your job for you. Are we having trouble with the stairs, mate? Try one foot at a time. Are you trying to shoot me through a wall? What are you afraid of the stairs? Why are you trying to? Yoink! Oh! Now you fucked up! Now you fucked up! You're getting mad at me for stealing. For stealing. Here comes someone. Bits and pieces. Ah, oh, that's what I'm gonna turn its owner into. How do you I have no problem. How do you feel about dying? Well, I'm cool with it. It's probably a bit overrated. Welcome to the bar of the college. Well, you can help me with these guys if you really wanted to. Be careful. Thanks, mate. I'll be sure to be careful in future. I wouldn't want to hurt someone. Hey, that's what I said. Mr. Dragon, uh, Spyro, was it? You can now uh, use the bridge uh, whenever you want to free charge. I hope we meet again when you have even more gems. And what was your name? Money flabs? Or is that just your body shape? To hit that lizard up high, you'll have to aim. Press the R action button to aim. Really? You'll have to aim when you throw shit at people. You have to aim. Well, that's it. This game is just unrealistic now. I thought you were all locked out of the temple. What were you doing in here? What were you doing in here all alone while everyone else was being roasted and... Actually, I totally understand. I'm sorry for 
accusing you. You're well on your way, Spyro. Keep collecting talismans to help us defeat Ripto before he can take over Avalar. Well, that was my plan until you stopped me. Oh, and keep collecting those orbs too. That was also my plan. They will help you get back to the Dragon World. He thinks. I'm sure he has enough evidence to know. Considering that's exactly how he got here. We've always had trouble with the gear grinders, but now they've set up force fields to separate us. If you find diodes, you can they use set them, them up. Turn off the force fields. They look like they have your aesthetic about them with the whole, you know, electricity gimmick. Isn't what it used to be. In fact, it looks like you'd be used to electricity, considering your head is fucking covered with it. Don't even get me started on... What is your body shape? Why are you a sentient electric peanut? I ain't that pretty. You trying to tell me there's hope on the horizon for these people? Look at that bullshit. And you know it. Be realistic, God. Well, that kid died. Or at the very least, more brain damage than he already appeared to have. Say, Spyro, you see this wall here? I bet you're dying to know what's on the other side. If only I had a few more gems, I might be able to remember how to lower the wall. Memory. Yeah, good for me. Good for you, mate. You look like you have a monobrow, by the way. Just thought you should know. On his back and guide him through each of the bubble rings as they appear. And remember, he's brand new, so try not to get him dented or scratched up. Your compassion astounds me. Fuck it. Let's go. Oh. Save the turtles that don't want to be saved. <laughs> it's not worth it, dude. Looks like a shitty soup anyway. When you die, at least, you know, go out for bistro quality. with this door, but I think some orb power might unstick it. Ah, I see you've collected a good number of orbs there. Yeah, they're mine. Hands off. Asshole. I can let you into the little castle over there in exchange for a few gems. What do you say? Why would I want to be inside the big castle's baby brother? That's disgusting. No one's been through that portal in years. Well, I'd hope I not. I never thought I'd find a sucker. Oh, I mean, dude. <clears throat> you're a shrewd customer, Spyro. Enough of the euphemisms. This is getting weird. FBI, open up! Oh, yes, we can be. That's my favorite car brand. Oil. I always make sure to go to my favorite brand of oil. Oil. Oh, my favorite race team. Race team. Yeah, he shook his head. The moment I stopped, I was like, that looks ridiculous. This guy shook his head. He's like, don't, please, don't put that on my fucking head. Damn, Mr. Race Driver was caught in a sex scandal. Uh, no, not Mr. Race Last Name Driver. That's fucking beautiful. Oh, I came as soon as I saw that, which is what I imagine he's doing right now. Oh, 
right, let's see what else we got. Oh no, there's the cum face. Brilliant. I didn't realize that if I had known I was allowed to jerk off during my license photo. Well, now he's a sex criminal. Arr, on the high seas or on land, I do my little white guy shimmy. Dude has so many cannonballs up his ass. It's a cannonball anal beat. Now I remember this. Oh, look at that. Me, King Kuhuka, beat you like tribal drum. Oh, this isn't racist. Oh, no. And, and do victory dance. Ook, uh, ook, ook, ook. Oh, no. Holy. Yeah, the physics are a little, uh, non-existent in this game. Congratulations, you won the King Kahuka car set. And you've won Emancipation. Uh, let's see which culture we insult this time. Yes, don't expect to win. Oh, it's teenagers. Nice try. Nice try. And again, nice try. Okay, guys, just stop. Give up. You can't aim. Alright, we're going to new shit. Oh, we got Basil's face. Took Basil's face. As recompense for all the bullshit he put me through. Hey there, I have to warn you. That you're a pedophile. You're on the sex. You officially have to warn me that you're on the sex offenders list. Me and my car are ready to win any race, but good luck anyway. No, I'm pretty sure he wanted to warn us about the sex offenders registry. <laughs> this is a lot easier than Basil. What the hell? I mean, I remember Basil being a prick. But... Jeez, this doesn't have a difficult curve as much as it has a difficulty parabola. You see that right there? That's a parabola. Now only a witch can pull up a parabola of this nature. <laughs> ah, so it's Zool. So it is Zool. I bet. Too racist for me to keep up with. And I shall win. Hmm? Yeah, far too racist for me, actually. Read that nonsense. Girl software. Wait a minute. Games and girls software. These people really are segregational. I mean, it was funny when they were... I mean, I might just be misinterpreting what that title meant, but it was funny when they were just, you know, making stereotypes of different cultures because it was a long time ago and it was all silly and childlike, but games? As something different to girls' software? What does that mean? Okay, so even though they can spawn infinite numbers of military warheads, they still feel the need to run up to you and give you a death stare. Make sure you're really intimidated in case the military warheads don't do the trick. Thanks, Spyro. Here's that orb I promised. Sorry if it still has clam juice on it. Whose clam is? You know what? I don't want to know. Well, you guys kind of deserve that. Not because you invaded someone else's world, but because your military was made up entirely of your fire services. Hello there, Spyro. I could arrange for you to cross. Well, oh, geez, Spyro, don't make eye contact or anything. 
Don't even, you know, look in his general direction. I mean, no one likes money bags, but you're coming off a little, uh, autistic. Shut the fuck up, you cunt! Guys, there's got to be an easier way to do the Guys, guys. Oh, your chief's dead now. Yep. Well, I'm glad you're all very happy about murder. I oh, know somehow he survived. Those guys could have got me out of here without rolling a two-ton snowball under my head. That's what I said, but they're your people, mate. You're all supposed to be a leader. Maybe invest in some education. You know, which snows to eat and which snows not to eat. It's probably a good place to start for these people. And we can complete our super secret spy mission. Well, the way to start a super secret spy mission is to not stand out in the open where all the enemies are going to give you... I don't even know what kind of face that is. They don't actually look angry, they kind of look... Actually, I think they're having strokes. Yeah. Those guys are currently having strokes. You're so cool, Spyro. Just one more flag. You could have had it by now. I thought you were some sort of super secret agent or something. You have a super ability to stand around doing nothing. With you. Simply step onto the elevator and it will take you to the bottom. When you want to come back up, just step on it again. Yeah, I know how elevators work, mate. Thanks for the tutorial. When you want to go down, go down. When you want to go up, go down. Oh, wait, I got that wrong somewhere. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> fatty like eating. This is some biting social commentary here from Spyro. Brilliant. Scabbers could have gone anywhere. They look like they're having an interesting conversation. They look like they fell out of the room too soon. Crookshanks doesn't understand that it's wrong to chase scabbers. Well, that makes it okay. You're a great pet owner. So on the back of the box, it makes sure to tell you that these are the best ever graphics. That's all that says. It's just best ever graphics. Yep. You can never get any better than this. This. You may not like it, but this is peak graphical fidelity. If I was in a magical world with monsters and crazy shit, I wouldn't see teen drama. I want to see the cool shit. But you're giving those angsty teens powerful spells. Like, can you? What's what's the what was the name of the torture spell? Uh, Cruciatus or something? You just know there were some angsty teenagers using Cruciatus on themselves. I played this game so much as a kid that I once had a nightmare about these things. Cause I have my nightmares were constantly about like falling, right? Great heights, just you know, regular fear of falling stuff. And those pads that send you flying, like turned up in a mall in one of my dreams. And I got caught on it. And I was just bouncing up Where and down, waiting we? until I would eventually hit the hard ground. And then eventually I did, and then I woke up just before I hit the ground, so obviously that means I fucking died. Thanks, Harry Potter. You, you traumatized me. Someone said there are dementors just outside Hogwarts. It's not true, is it? I don't know, why don't you just fucking look out the window then? No time to chat. I've got to get up to Fred and George's shop to buy some chocolate frogs. Oh yeah, wouldn't want to fucking nice delay you from doing train, that Potter. for even a second. Gave us slithery. Oh, ho, ho. now there's a very special collector's card, Harry. We'll give it to you for free if you can collect all the other cards in the set. What? 
Do you have any idea how to run a business? You'll give me the rarest fucking card for free if I can get the rest of them. And you only sell three of them? Or six of them? You don't know about a little thing called demand, do you? Fucking let me just fucking burn his face off. There we go. That's beautiful. Actually, what's going on with that guy's eye over there? Why has he got a black eye? What happened to you, mate? Oh, it's gone now. I'm telling you, there's some shady Remember, shit Harry, that goes down again anytime, Harry. No, thanks. Surprise, motherfucker! F <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Peeves! Oh, uh, okay. Oh, Hello there. Oh my god, personal space, so dude. Can't use the portrait, this is the pedophile oh, ghost I remember. Oh, I've got the passwords right here! Jesus Come on, Ron. Christ. We can get that paper. The Ron, paper? Let's he just together. violated you in like three different ways. You're worried about his fucking... I don't even want to know what he's doing. Oh, you just got fucked up. Yeah, you're looking a bit fucked up there, Rob. Have you tried getting out of the way of them, Rob? Oh, Jesus, it's getting fucking Is that the best you can do? I'm doing fine, but apparently Ron's got brain damage now. You see, I expect that from you. What do you want? Are you gonna snitch? Because that's what I do to snitches. You see how that burst? That'll be your head. Yeah, that's right, walk away. Yep, see, now you're accomplices. Got fucking pixie infestation that apparently Harry has to deal with, because there's no fucking staff that would deal with that. Because this school is run by a grand total of two and a half people, and two of those are Hagrid. Okay, I've already fucking passed the class apparently. 1900 out of 1500. Apparently, all you have to do to fucking pass this class is show up. Actually, that describes a lot of classes at uni, so I'm not gonna fucking comment. Yes, I know. I did show up. You should have boys. I'm dying. <laughs> Look at me. It's killed me. You're not dying. You're you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> Do you think you'll be all right? Of course. Madam Potter <laughs> can make cuts in about a second. You can bet Malfoy will make something out of this. <laughs> Like what? Fucking Harry was nothing happened to that cutscene. I mean, there was some sort of decking, but he was worried about Buckwheat too. Where'd Hermione go anyway? It's nearly time for transfiguration class. Um, decked in the face. But then he was holding his chest off of the other ground, and then he just happened? walked away. I'm just a bit the most tired. That's all. We'd better get I up can to the discontinuous cutscene we'll I've ever seen. That's amazing. I love it. We could take the first floor portrait shortcut. You're ready for the next stage of the lesson. Explore the surrounding Ketchup. chambers. Oh, you're just gonna walk away. Ready to use the you don't want to explain what the fuck this is? On a bucket. Ah, uh, by then. All right. No, this isn't weird or dangerous or anything. Oh, occult symbols. I end up in locked in. It's good knowing you, Harry. Oh, and there's a collector's card too. Oh my. A collector's card, you say? It's a bit odd that the uh, texture of the floor around that card is different to the rest of the floor. Slightly lighter. But nothing could possibly go wrong. Nothing incredibly traumatizing to a child. No. Oh, look, Harry's dead. What? Oh, no. Look at this shit. This isn't a kid's game. What do I do? Burn down the tapestry? I 
hate when damaging school property isn't the answer. All I have to give you is this thingy I found. At least it's not a rock. You know, it kind of is a rock. Fuck you. What a terrible gift. Yeah, I found this thingy. Uh, is I found it on the ground. Oh look, there's some dirt on the ground. You can have that too. Go ahead. I suppose you want it all for doing that. Well, I'm afraid not. I suppose you want to be compensated for your work. Get to it by using the whirlwind behind me. What a fucking concept. Seriously, oligarchs everywhere. That'd probably work better if you were following me, not just going wee 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 while standing in place. You could have. I'm right in front of you. You could just hand it. To, fine, whatever. What your fucking dog? Have another shot if you want. We'll just hand it to. Me. All right, dickhead. Yeah, it has Sparrow's face on it. No, you said that was your last. I don't have fun unless I'm getting paid for it. Hello, Halora sounds like... What happens when Harry wants to say hello to Hermione, but the stroke finally set in. It's like, ah, oh, hello, Hermione. Uh-uh. It is bad. That's what I imagine that is. Well, they were all government property, so hurry, you're going to jail. Which seems a bit weird, because they were all black in their government property. Don't, don't blame me. That was J.K. Harry, Rowling. I can't believe it. Where am I going? Go to Dada classroom. Dada classroom. Okay, someone is having a stroke now. Also, it's Ron's exam. Why is everyone going? You know how some students, when they have exams, are allowed to bring in moral support animals. That's what I imagine. For those in the audience who have suffered from a stroke in the past, I don't mean to offend you. Not that I'm really worried about that, because the joke would probably go over your head, just like the stroke did. Alright, this exam is about your magic, Ron. Now leap. Very oh, good. You can do the... Physical exercise and death defying stunts part of your magic exam. Okay, I guess you're just gonna be fast. This part of your magic exam tests how fast you can run. Try Naruto running for your best score on magic. Hello? So I guess this, this is how Harry dies. The teacher forgets he's in the exam and leaves him to starve to death. Fun. Hey, get away from me! We've got a pixie infestation on our hands. What can we do to help? Get a Just teacher. Just at the well to stir up the swarm. Oh, stir them up first. Work together to get rid of them. If you don't get all of the pixies on the first try, you can try again as often as you want. You learn a collector's card. Well, just each don't stir them the up. Swarm. If you can drive off every last pixie in the well, you learn all five cards in the set. But that's no easy feat. Or just don't stir them up. You could go around killing everyone's dogs uh, after you kill the first 
Or after you kick the first one and he gets angry. Well, you could just not. Great job, Ron. You were brilliant, Hermione. Yeah, let's see, favoritism. Yeah, good job, Ron. You it was you know, fucking. You, you sure did show up. Hey, Hermione. You were brilliant. Loved every second of it. Yeah, yeah, it's in the dorm. Okay. God damn it, Ron. Keep up. One of those purposely programmed so Ron would always be the last one. Because. I sure hope it was. <laughs> Did Harry just murder Ron? Can I do that? Bye, Hermione. Oh, no, I see. Hermione can survive in the void. That's where she was born. Ron merely adopted the darkness. Unless you want to pull off something amazing here as well. Fuck, that is magic. Ho, 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 it's magic. Shut the fuck up, you cunt!